Dear Twin, Hello and Happy New Year! Okay, yes, I am aware that it is February and we're a little late, but this is technically my first video of the new year. So, Happy New Year! If you've yet to notice the beautiful scenery behind me, we're in my kitchen. <laughs> I decided that I'd film in here today because there's good lighting and the microwave holds my phone better than any tripod would, right? By the way, I am digging that new black hair. Kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, someone really, really beautiful with long black hair. Anyway, on a slightly more serious note, congratulations! I am so, so proud of you for getting into this school. I know it's not the one that you are going for, you know, but I believe you're gonna get into that one too because you've been working really, really hard and you really worked on those applications and you deserve this. So I think you're definitely gonna get in and I'm really hoping that you get to go to the school that you wanna go to most. On a similar positive note, I really liked what you had to say about making 2016 your year because I know in one of my past videos I mentioned that 2015 really was like my year to grow and become a better person and just feel successful overall. And I think that's a feeling that everyone should experience at least once in their lives. So I'm really, really hoping that 2016 is your year to become a better you and that we both improve ourselves in some way because there's always room for improvement and I really think that we've got it this year. I think you've set up some great goals for yourself for 2016 and I know you didn't explicitly say that they were New Year's resolutions, but I feel like they kind of were so I feel like I should also have my own New Year's resolutions and here are a couple. One, remain as fabulous as I already am. Two, become slightly more fabulous without anyone noticing so that they think I was always as fabulous. Three, learn how to drive. Four, enhance my skills as a professional whistler. And five, do something more exciting and surprising than I've ever done before. So those are five of my resolutions for this year and I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. We got this. This is our year. We can do it. Okay now, so this video is titled my January 2016 or something like that. And I titled it that because I wanted to use this video to catch you up on my life since that's what you did in your last video. So for me, January or the last five or so weeks have been really busy for me. As you know, winter quarter at my school has started up again and we are now a month in. Technically we're on week five and a lot has happened. Um, my friends have come back from their study abroad, so I've gotten to see them and I've gotten to show them my apartment and hang out with them more. And that has been thrilling because I miss them all so much. Also, I and my current roommate have decided we might want to live with some of our other friends next year. And based on that, we have started apartment hunting. Well, technically we've only looked at one apartment, but it was amazing. I think I told you about it before, but it was like, a mansion. It was five rooms and three bathrooms and a huge kitchen and a living room and a sunroom and it was affordable and it was affordable. How how much better can it get? I don't know. But we're thinking about it and we're also thinking about what it's going to be like to live with more than two people because uh, two of my friends have never lived in an apartment before so this is completely new to them and my current roommate and I have only ever really lived with each other. So living with more than one other person is something to take into consideration. And there's definitely going to be a lot to talk about and a lot to consider, but hopefully it all works out in the end and I will keep you updated on that. The other biggest part of January for me has been actually related to death. Three of my uh, celebrity idols died within a week this month and that was absolutely exhausting. It was emotionally tolling on me and my friends and I know that for some people this might sound ridiculous because they're celebrities and I never met them and they're just people you like hear on a CD or watch on TV but they were a lot more than that for me. Um, Alan Rickman was Severus Snape in the Harry Potter movies and he was like 
almost a grandpa figure for me. He was the epitome of Slytherin and dark magic, even though he wasn't a completely dark guy. And I love the complexity of his character, and Alan Rickman's portrayal of him was just impeccable. And I thank him so much for bringing that beautiful character into my childhood. Uh, similarly, Glenn Fry from the Eagles, um, a band that I went to for my very first concert when I was 13, passed away. Uh, he was one of the founding members of the band, and that was really upsetting for me and my dad. Um, so there was that. And perhaps most impactful on me was the passing of David Bowie, the star man. <sighs> I have a lot I could say about him. Uh, I know my friends have a lot they could say about him. We still can't even talk about it. Again, this might sound so ridiculous to some people, but he was just so influential on us. And to know that he's no longer alive, it's just incredible. I can't even, I don't even know what to say. Um, but he always did say he was an alien that was just visiting. And I guess now it's just time for him to go back to outer space. So I'm thankful that he visited us for a little while. On a slightly lighter note, also related to death, Death of a Bachelor, the Panic! at the Disco album came out. How awesome is that? Have you heard it? I listened to it at least 15, 20 times already. And I can tell you, it gets better with every listen. The first time I heard it, I thought it was kind of like unorganized. I'm like, Brendan, what are you doing here? I mean, I know you're the only guy in Panic now, but like, come on, get it together. But they were all good songs always. And then I listened to it a few more times and I'm like, yeah, yeah, this makes sense. The order is good. It's, it's a little hectic, but like, you know, maybe that's what Brendan was going for. And now I just, I sing it in the shower. I listen to it when I'm doing my homework, walking down the street. It's amazing. I love it. I can sing all the words to so Don't Threaten Me With A Good Time. It's just fantastic. If you haven't heard it, you probably heard it. But if you haven't heard it, go listen to it. It's great. It makes you want to party. Fantastic. Good job, Brendan. Also, not technically in January, but uh, two days ago, February, was my friend's birthday and I made her something for her birthday that probably nobody else understands, but it was the best pun gift ever and you should be proud of me because my friend who I gave it to was certainly proud and they appreciated my puns, so you should appreciate my puns, Tiffany. <laughs> Anyway, uh, my friend likes to insult us a lot by saying that we are ho biscuits. Um, slutty biscuits, I guess you could use as a synonym. Ho biscuits when she is bothered by us. So I baked her some Pillsbury biscuits, put some some of the toothpicks in it with the word ho and pictures of ho's ear because he's like her favorite. And I made her some ho biscuits. Insert picture of ho biscuits now. Yes, they looked amazing, and I'm so proud that it's probably like the punniest gift I have ever given, and I'm still thrilled about it. Finally, for a quick summary of January, my friends and I did a late Christmas gift exchange, and while I loved all of my gifts, my favorite by far has to be this. It is a Hermione Granger time turner complete with inscriptions and sand look at that look at that do you see it can you see it look at it i love it it's incredible i've used it like 10 times already to um not be late to class to turn in assignments um you know when you set the kitchen on fire and you just need to like undo that comes in handy so often i absolutely adore it so that's it for my summary of January, but I really hope that the rest of 2016 has a lot more in store, a lot more events. I can't wait to see you again. And I did want to say that uh, your birthday isn't for another eight months, Tiffany. You can't drink for another eight months legally. And I think society should be happy about that because you are interesting enough sober. Also, I forgot to mention your new stitch is super, super cute. And I hope your stitch that lives on your bed doesn't get jealous of him. 
Anyway, the lighting in here has gone down significantly. Curse you, sunset. And so I should start wrapping up this video. Um, so this week's bi-weekly riddle is... What did the Starbucks barista say to the little boy who tried to pay for his drink in quarters? Anyway, that's it for this week's video. And I can't wait to hear what you talk about in your next video. And I will see you then. I love you. Bye.